Hello everyone, I'm Anna from Selvia. This time I'm meeting with one of Selvia's significant partners whose success might encourage you to consider one more type of passive income. His monthly earnings as an affiliate exceeded $10,000 per month. I'm very excited to learn the secrets behind such profits. How about you? Hello, how are you? Could you please introduce yourself? Hi everyone, um, my name is Olushara David and I'm currently in Nigeria. So I, I have a BSc degree in political science and currently I'm a full-time affiliate marketer and a YouTuber. Um, how did it all begin? Why did you choose affiliate marketing after all? And who inspired you to start this type of business? Uh, well, the reason I actually went with affiliate marketing was because I, I fell in love with the business model. I was looking for a job I could actually do, and I got to realize that affiliate marketing allows you to work from the comfort of your home. So I talked about it, um, working from the comfort of my home with my laptop or my mobile device since promising. So I said, okay, let me give it a try. And eventually I fell in love with the business model and I've been living the dream ever since. What was uh, the main problem you overcame on your way to running a successful side hustle business? Huh? Well, the major issue I had when I, I was getting started was the issue of um, time and productivity. Started alone, I literally had no one to put me through. So, and when it comes to creating content, it takes a lot of my time. Then I still need to network with other bloggers just to get my content out there. So it was really taxing for me. But eventually, as time goes by, I've been able to outsource most of my content to people now. So I have people working for me. So I have more time to do what is actually important for my business to grow. So my major issue is um, time and productivity, but I've been able to leverage, I've been able to replicate myself. I've been able to outsource most of the content to other people. So it's working out well now. Do you remember your first commission drop into your account and the things you did to achieve it? What were your first steps as an affiliate back then? Well, well, I actually remember my first affiliate commission and to be candid, uh, I almost gave up. Okay, let me say I gave up because when I started, I think before I had my first commission, it was around six or seven months after I launched my affiliate blog. So I was like, I'm not making any money, man. So I had to take up a nine to five job. So I think my third week in the job, in the nine to five job, I, I just got the notification on my phone. I got the alerts that I made a commission, which is $165 then. And I'm like, wow, so this is actually working. So that's just the motivation I needed. So when I went back home, I dust my laptop, and I said, okay, I'm coming back to this. So the, what, what, what I did back then was when I, when I started, I knew I, I had no authority, nobody knows me. So what I tried to do is I look for keyword, like look for new athlete programs with less competition. So I feel, okay, if this program is having less competition, I should be able to rank higher for those keywords. And that was what I was doing when I was starting. So before you know it, I was gaining traction, I was gaining traffic, and eventually I got my first affiliate commission. And uh, what's happening with your affiliate marketing business now? Is it worse financially? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I'm not sure there's anything that I can actually do. The, the good thing about affiliate marketing is you can actually scale it up. There's no limit to how much you can make when yeah. it comes to affiliate yeah. marketing. We have people making $200,000 a month. We have people, so it's just the limit in your mind. You can actually scale it to any amount. So to me, for me, I'm going to say it's totally worth it. It's totally worth it. And I know there's still room for me to make even bigger income with affiliate marketing. So I'm going to give it all it takes. What's changed uh, for the last two years in affiliate marketing due to the, this COVID situation and so on? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, for COVID. Well, what happened around COVID just gave me the, gave me even more courage to pursue affiliate marketing because when other people were complaining that um, they couldn't go to work, my 
business was actually gaining more traction. I was even making more income. I was gaining more traffic. So I was like, even with the bad situation, this business model even makes me more money. So I said, what the heck? I have to give it all it takes. Yeah, so, so you agree that e-commerce is growing right now. Like everyone start thinking about all the possibilities it can give you. So you can quit your nine to five job and just work um, like for yourself. <laughs> How much time does it take you every day to manage your affiliate resources? What do you do to make it grow? Well, when I was starting, it was time consuming. But like I said earlier, I've been able to outsource most of the work. When I started and I was doing it all by myself, I think I, I usually work around um, 10 hours a day mm -hmm. on my athlete blog. But now I think I've been able to limit it to like um, six, around six hours every day or at times four hours when I'm actually busy with some other stuff. So what I did that actually helped me gain more affiliate income was networking with other websites. That is, I was trying to get more backlinks from other websites to my website to gain my own authority. Because if you're if you are running an affiliate marketing business with a blog, you have to gain more authority on your website for your content to rank higher on Google search engine. So it is when your content ranks like gain traffic and from the traffic you make money. So I've been spending more time to create guest posts on other websites just for me to have more authority. And this has been working out well for me currently. What if you are a complete newbie? Like you don't have your blog yet and so on. Do you have any tips for this type of affiliates? <laughs> Yeah, when I started, I was a complete newbie. And even as a newbie, I was making money. So what I will say is, it's just like um, um, the blue ocean and the red ocean. So if you're a complete newbie, go for all those less competitive keyword or less competitive programs mm -hmm. or find a unique way. You don't have to create a blog before you can actually make money with affiliate marketing. You could use social media. But the, the reason I chose blog is because... Um, it, it lets you get started even when you are tight on budget. So for those beginners trying to start, what I would say is try and go for less competitive keywords. Do extensive keyword research. There are so many keywords around the affiliate program you want to promote that most big companies or big websites are not promoting. So we call it um, low-hanging keywords. So just go for those low-hanging keywords that people are not promoting. Create a content. Make your content the best on that keyword and eventually Google is going to rank you because the keyword is less competitive. And once you start getting um, much ranking for that keyword, you're going to be getting traffic. And from the traffic, you're going to be making sales. You mostly should know about SEO, some basics, right? Yeah, I had um, I have a few basic SEO knowledge, yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you have to be an expert on the product you recommend? Do you have your own e-commerce store? How is it performing? Yeah, when it comes to being an expert in the products you are promoting, I think it actually boils down to what you want to gain with your affiliate marketing business. Personally, I, <clears throat> personally, I feel you have to have an experience of what you are selling to people. All right, because me having an experience with the product personally gives me the confidence to tell you or gives me the confidence to relate with my potential customer. Like me having the product, I was able to relate with their pain points. I know that this is what they want. So I know the best way to recommend the product to them to solve their product. So personally, myself, I have an e-commerce store. Okay, I have an e-commerce store with um, Solvia and I've been able to make good profit from this. So this gives me the confidence to actually market the product to my, to my traffic. So what's your overall feedback on the Solvia solutions and the impact it has on your referrals? Oh, well, yes, so far Solvia has been good because when I, when I was running my own personal dropshipping store, when I was using AliExpress to fulfill to fulfill um, order for my uh, to my customer, one of the major issue I'm having with AliExpress is the issue of 
chargeback when customer place an order for a product and if the product is taking too long for them to receive the product most of them do a chargeback complaining that they are yet to receive their product but when it comes to selvia they Sevilla actually make it easy because they, they ship the product faster to these people. So I feel overall, um, Sevilla has been able to ease the issue of the chargeback because customers have been able to get their product quickly. And also, when I compare the price of product on Sevilla to the one I have on Harley Express, I see that um, I was able to see that um, the profit margin is even higher than product we have on AliExpress. Most people think um, product on AliExpress is extremely cheap, but when you, when, when you check the one on Sylvia, you even see that they are even more cheaper than what we have on AliExpress. So this is good. So this improved my, I was able to have a little or no chargeback and I was even able to make more profits on my products. So, so far, Sevilla has been a good platform. Yeah, and also loyal customers. <laughs> yes, yes. And, and with these people, have, uh, my customers have been able to come back and place more order. Yeah. So what are the essential tools for affiliate marketing in your opinion? I see that you recommend blog and uh, YouTube and maybe something else. Mm. Well, for me, I major on um, YouTube and, and blog. And if you're going to be going with um, blog, you need to have a little bit of SEO experience. And most of the tools you need when it comes to blogging is just you have a good um, SEO tools. Like um, we have several like um, SMRush, um, mm -hmm. Uber Suggest, um, AHF, just to do keyword research and for... When it comes to YouTube, most of the things you need to do is just create good content, create good videos that your viewers can actually relate with. So I, I feel YouTube is actually more easier to compare to, to blog if you don't have any SEO experience. Oh, okay. But do you need a, like an advanced camera or you can film these videos on your phone? Uh, well, when I started with YouTube, I, I don't have any camera. All I was using is just my laptop camera. And most of the time, I don't even show my face. And I was even making profit back then. So with just your laptop, you could get started with um, camera. Or if you have a good phone, you could use that to you know create your video and post it on YouTube. What has changed in your life since you started earning as an affiliate? And what do your friends and family think about your business? Oh, my friends and family. Yeah, when I when I started with Afri Marketing, most of them was actually against the business model. Cause I remember my uncle, when he was around, it was like, what are you doing? Most of the time you just, on your laptop, there's nothing you are doing with your life. This is not what it's, so I was like, but then I was not making money. But now when I'm making money, they were like, oh, oh, David, can you actually teach me your business? I think I would like to start a business like I this. <laughs> <laughs> so they've been able to relate because they've seen the results they've seen i i was actually making money from the business so they've accepted it now so you're like a role model right now <laughs> <For them. laughs> to some yeah i'm like a role model to some now well thank you a lot our team is beyond grateful to you for your in-depth story and advice and wish you and your team even more exciting milestones to achieve. All right. Thank you very much. 